Hey everybody, welcome to the annual special part one. Um, basically, it's about annuals. Um, I was going to do an annual thing around Christmas because that's usually a period, I don't know if you did, but yes, that's I always I get. got my annuals. You get Christmas. an annual on Christmas, and I was going to do an annual special around Christmas, and I just didn't get around to it, so I thought, because Steve's got a load of annuals, so this is Steve's annuals, this video, and then I'll do a Dan's annuals in the next one. So, should we go through each annual then? See yeah. which ones you've got. So the first one we've come across... Is one I've never had. <laughs> no, it's, um, this is actually my brother's, but yeah. I've got it at the moment. Batman and Robin from the awful <laughs> Batman and Robin film. Anything interesting inside? Well, let's have a quick look. See, I wouldn't have had this. Oh, bat nipples. They're quite interesting. <laughs> um, what year is this? This eight, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight or something like 97. that? 97. Oh, 97, okay. 97, so it's just the story of Batman and Robin. A boring looking one. It's literally just the story. See, that's with annuals, when they've got them like this. This is a cheap, cheap type yeah. of annual where there's no activities, there's no... It's just a whole story. No kid's going to read. I mean, show it, show it all that it's, writing. It's just the... No kid's going to read all that. The kids want puzzles, the kids want little comic strips, the kids want you know, just little bits. It might as well be the it's whole a whole script. Oh, it's, it's with kind of pictures. ridiculous, I guess. So. Let's just see what happens when we get to the end. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that no, one. It's just that all it. writing with a few pictures. That is literally yeah. it. <laughs> so, some annuals are good, some are bad, and this one was like, seemed like a, just a cheap bad. cash in annual kind of thing. Hopefully, <laughs> this next one might be a bit better. We'll uh, redeem it. Yes. It does say 64 page stories, features, as seen on TV. Okay, so Batman and Robin Adventures. So oh, you thought you'd start off with a really cool picture. Let's start off with that. Nice, nice. We're we we facing Killer Croc. Nice, so what have we got now? So we've got a comic strip. See, comic strip straight away, you're already redeeming yourself slightly with a comic strip. Yeah, so the comic strip there. This is actually a 1998 Who is that? All right, I don't know. I thought that was Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Albert. So you've got one comic. Joker looks cool, isn't it? Still, this is, I think this is the second comic. Mm, I don't know. I think it's all no, one thing, isn't it? it is one thing. So it's a big comic in it, which is better than a whole load of story you've got all, you know, kids like comics, you know. Yeah. So it's a lot better having a comic. It is literally. I, um, one, cool. Matthew. 60, it's a, oh, no, hang on a sec. And there we go, we've got a profile on the, the, um, profile. the Joker as well. So it, this one's already redeeming itself to me. Yeah, there's already some, a little bit else it's in there. It's a proper there, annual actually. now, we've got to proper annual. So and there's a second story. Then we've got another comic. Brilliant. With a slightly different art style as well. Okay, so we've so got, got two different the same one. Yeah. Pretty ace, I like that. This is more like an original sort of like... Hmm, I get you. An original style Yeah. sort of comic. Like there in the shadow, the shadow is actually just... <laughs> there's actually dots and lines rather than fully coloured in. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Again, there's a thing on the penguin. Oh, we've got little bits on the cartoon series as yeah, well. Yeah, some, some. Obviously, you can't see it. We're describing everything yeah, we've seen. We'll show you every so often. <laughs> more character profiles. Which is really cool. Yeah, another story this time. And another comic. Quinn and Poison It's good that they got the comics, so I'm really impressed yeah. with that. So let's have a look, see if there's anything else. This one's Robin being poisoned by Poison Ivy and falling under her spell. Nice. And helping Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Is there anything else? No, so, so we've got comics, see. which is a plus. We've got character profiles so you can learn more about your favourite characters, another plus. And really nice art styles and very colourful. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with that. I don't, I don't mind that That's at all. That's not too bad. Yeah. No, I'm impressed with that one. Much better. Yeah, it's much better. They've got a year on that one. 1998. 1998. Nice. Right, so the next one is the 1995 Biker Mice. Biker Mice from Mars. Nice. Yeah, so I wasn't a massive fan, so I didn't ever had this annual. Oh. That doesn't sound very good. This is, <laughs> this is my one because it has my sticker in the corner. <laughs> so it's got um, Meat Throttle, it's got Lawrence Lomberg of Crime Dossier, Media Star, Meat Throttle, Biker Mice, Word Square, bike, Bikes Twice. Nice Lost property in the garage, right? So we've got a profile on the villain Lawrence Fisberg. Nice. So already off to a good start. Oh, Lindbergh, sorry. Not it's Fisberg. nice when you've got your favourite characters and you're learning more about them and stuff like that. There's the a annual. short story. So we've got a story, but we've got big pictures. It's not as bad. But nice big pictures, but there is a lot of story there. So you would have preferred a, a comic lot. style, but. There's yeah. a lot to read. 
Yeah. That's still quite a big... See, with these kind of ones, I always prefer the comic style to me. Right, so... Really cool big picture there, though. Yeah, that's a good big picture, though. That's really nice. Yeah, so that's a good one. It's the end of the style. And we've got a word search. It's been done. <laughs> well, sort of been done. Well, nice Did you give up on it? <laughs> yeah. So, word search, another good one, then. Bikes twice. This time we've got a comic. So we had a, a story. Oh, that's a good mix. Yeah, story a and then a comic. Nice. Um, just a few pages. Oh, trying <laughs> Lost property. So a, a search thing. Who you look for? Search game. Yes. Yeah, a search game. So it's already full of stuff. This one. Yeah. This is a, now. This is a proper annual now. It's now another. It's got a bit of everything. Profile. This time with Modo. Nice. Um. See, I'm liking this one already. Wonder Pist in our story about him. Well, starring him anyway. Yeah. Now, Vinny, he was my favourite character. That's pretty <laughs> cool, of Vinny. So, what follows the Vinny profile is a Fred the Mutant Hall of Mirrors, which is a spot of the difference, I believe. Kind of a spot of the difference, yeah. Yeah. Maybe with a twist or something, I don't know. There are so many Freds to choose from, but only two are exactly the same. Ah, so, you've got to find, so you gotta find the same thing. To spot the same. <laughs> It's, it's number two and number five, number eight. Nice. It's quite clear it's because they're the two do the same pose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then another comic. Another comic. So really two nice. comics, two stories, a couple of word searches. You've Ace. got the profile of um, Carbuncle, the evil scientist who who works for. I had a figure of him. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh. So then another story. Grease Pit gets a girlfriend. He looks a bit like a prostitute or something. <laughs> I, I think he's hiring that girl, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and he's going mental there, so. And she was going off with someone else, definitely a prostitute. <laughs> and you've got Meet Charlie, who's. It's kind of scary, she's got a better body than me. So, <laughs> well, she's got a six pack. That's quite scary, that. And then another uh, comic. Another comic. So story, comic, story, comic, story, comic. Do we have puzzles all in between and it? Stuff. Yeah. I'm Facts on Fred. Meet Grease Pit. Nice. It's actually quite a little interview with Grease Pit. Status. <laughs> I'm pretty important guy at Limburger Tower. Mr. Limburger needs me around. You could say I'm his right hand man. Only I don't know which hand is his right hand. <laughs> I make sure those mice get beaten every now and then. And one day I'm gonna. Chase them back to the half pint planet they came from. So it's like a oh. little Q and A with it. <laughs> no, no, this is the kind of annual I love. It's yeah. got a bit of everything. You're learning more about the characters you love so much. It's it's great. Really, really nice one. And then you've got them saying goodbye to you at the end, waving goodbye. Now that's and a message. That's a definite great one. When if you get yeah. that one for kind of that, that kind of one for Christmas, you're done for a while then. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's what annual should be. Yeah. So the next one, I think this one's kind of in the same sort of vein, it's Thunderbirds. Okay, I was never a Thunderbirds fan, even though when I was eight I got a Thunderbirds cake and I had a Thunderbirds alarm clock and stuff like that. My mum thought I was a massive fan, never watched it, never never thought, no, I never mentioned Thunderbirds ever, but mum thought I was a big fan. Don't know why. Okay, so the International Rescue Year, so it starts off with a timeline of when people were born. Nice. Such as, um, so Tracy was born in 2007, and sorry, 1970, and the youngest, um, Alan, born 2005. 2005, and their mother died in 2005. <laughs> That's quite scary. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so what we got? Oh, well, more timelines. So we're getting to 2026 is when the first international rescue mission started. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Well, if you're a Thunderbirds fan, that kind of teaches you a bit. Yeah. So oh, then and then we start with a comic. Straight off with a comic. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's quite funny how they do actually look like the puppets and they didn't try to make them look human. Yeah, they still made them look like puppets. So we've got that. So the first one is two profiles on Jeff, Tracy, and, Brain, and Brains. Yeah. FAB. Then we've got a story. Mm hmm. Missile alone. So I don't mind the story as long as we've got a comic in it. The story's alright then. Yeah. So that's only a few pages. Then we've got Scott Tracy in Thunderbird 1. Nice. I think you can see where they're going with this one. <laughs> um, there's a Thunderbird trivia quiz. Let's try it out. You asked oh, me the question that I tried okay. answer. Which of the Tracy brothers pilots Thunderbird 1? Scott. Yes. 
Um, the hood has a hideout in the jungle. What type of building is it? A pyramid? Nearly. Ast uh, Aztec pyramid. No. Um, it's a word. Yeah. Temple. <laughs> and let's see. What is International Rescue's tunneling machine called? I don't know that one. It's an easy kind of one. What would you call a tunnel tunneling machine? A tunnel. <laughs> kind of. Think of an animal. Um, the mole. Yeah, the mole. Uh, who is IR's? Is it IR? IR's London agent. Um, um, Penelope. Um, Lady Penelope. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of the Thunderbird space station? Thunderbird Five. Yeah. Uh, Thunderbird Three goes into space. Which craft goes underwater? Thunderbird Four. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a Thunderbird nerd. Um, what is? Reno's daughter called. No idea, I don't know that one. Ah, that's Tintin. Oh, right. Tintin, yeah, that's the, yeah. Where is Tracy Island? No idea. In the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Uh, number nine is how many sons has Jeff Tracy? Five. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And what is the name of Lady Penelope's chauffeur? Parker. Very good. He's <laughs> belated. There we go. Wow. <laughs> then there's also a colouring page, which I sort of must have started, and a crossword. Nice. So, I was never good at crosswords. I should give that to my nana. She'd get it done in a few minutes. <laughs> and I was really good at crosswords. And another um, comic. And another yeah. comic. Really nice. So, yeah. Not bad. Again, this is this is going to a... Oh, this one actually... Ah, it's actually the same... It's actually the same comic, but part two. Ah, that's pretty cool. So they, so they split it Have up. a little break. Yeah. Play a few games. Because it says continue on page 50. Ah, fair enough. And this that's page 31. So then we have Virgil Tracy, who flies Thunderbird 2. Nice, nice. Um, oh, then there's the Martian Probe game. Ah, board game thing. I always liked it when they did a little board game built into your, um, your annual. Yeah. It's kind of cool. And, uh, I think it's a bit of a sore subject, that Martian Probe. Yeah. Especially when you think of what a probe <laughs> normally is. You know. Um Alan Tracy. I remember having an argument with my dad. So much so that I actually got grounded for being right. Um of course they didn't know we had this argument where there was one episode where Alan Tracy was in Thunderbird Five because the one who lives in Thunderbird Five had come back down because Thunderbird Five is always in space. Hmm. So he'd come back down to get, obviously have a break, so yeah. Alan had gone up to give him, to, so he could go go back down. And I remember telling my dad that that was Alan Tracer, and my dad was like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, it's the one who fires on the bit. I was like, no, and my mum said, don't argue with your dad, and I carried on arguing, and I got banned from watching it, and got no, I got grounded and sent upstairs to bed <laughs> for arguing with my dad. A week later, before the birds was on again, and it came on and Told you. He, he did apologise to me, to be fair to me, then my dad did apologise. So then, Flight of Destruction, so that's another story. Um, Gordon Tracy is then Thunderbird 4. So you can tell I'm not a fan because I'm not really talking about anything because no. I don't know who anybody is. Um, Flight of Destruction Part 2. Oh, so the story continues. Nice. Yeah. A lot in this one. There is a lot. Um, John Tracy, that's the one. That's it. Is John. So John Alan was up in for the bed trying to give John a rest, a race, a rest. And I knew it was because of the fact that he was wearing the pink sachet, which is what from the bed, which is what he wore. And I think, yeah, the I think what did, what did um, Alan wear? What colours is Alan's is like a white, and that's how I knew there was a difference where the dad won't have it. So then, part three of the comic. Nice. And then we have Lady Penelope and Parker and the pink Rolls Royce that they drive around in. Groovy. And there is a word search and a dot to dot. 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 Oh, dot to dot, see? <laughs> Not done that in years. Um, yeah, and Tintin. And then that's a goodbye from them. And, and there we go. It yeah. finishes with the Thunderbirds. Nice, that's not a bad one. No, yeah. pretty good. What year was it again? About no, 95 no. maybe. Oh, um, or earlier. Did not say. Possibly earlier. Let's have a quick look. 
It was what was the price? Was four pound fifty. Four pound fifty, yeah. Nineteen ninety two. Ah, ninety two. Okay. So at the moment, this is the earliest that we've had got. We've had at mm. the moment. See if we can find one early. I think we do have a couple earlier yeah. ones. In this it. one could be it actually. Maybe. Yes. The so real. The real Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters annual. See, there's a few of these. I don't, I don't know yeah. if this is the one I've got or if I've got a different one. I can't remember. So we'll find out in um, my annual video. Oh, nice picture already. Yeah, it starts off with them on a stage. Nice. So, can we find a year on this one? We've got to be earlier, it's Ghostbusters. 1991. Ah, they were a so year we, earlier. So we were a year earlier. <laughs> what does it say, eh? This is my, um, I was age six when I had this. God. And you could, um, you could put your photo on it. You could put a photo on it. <laughs> and special attributes, please. License to use a proton pack. Um, including nuclear accelerator and particle thrower. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually have the pack, so I should have been able to take that. <laughs> So then it got. I think this is actually the one way it tells you how to make a proton pack. Ah, cool. So we start off with a story. Nice. Oh, um, and then straight into a comic. Straight into a comic. <laughs> so only, nice. only two, only three pages or four pages long. Sorry, the um, story. Story. And and then a nice comic. Cool comic. And oh, then it, it's a um, maze. Nice. I've drawn, I have drawn maze. Really um, nice. Yeah. Dummy run. So this is a new story, isn't it? Story. Nice. Another story about a, a dummy. I take it. A probably one that's possessed. Yeah. And then straight into a comic again. I think there's a page missing there. Oh, oh could it have been a poster, maybe, or something? Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes you get posters in them, and sometimes they're missing in annuals because people take them. Oh, the <laughs> pantomime mask. Mask. That's one thing I always found in annuals. I never cut out. I never cut out anything in annuals unless no. there was um, a staple bit in the middle where you could pull a poster out, but. Ah, the reason why is because it has a pantomime you can act out. <laughs> That's quite funny. Do you reckon one day should we, we should do it? <laughs> act 1. The laboratory. Set in Egon's lab, two chairs, a balcony, work surface, covered in scientific, semi-scientific gadgets. Egon wears a bow tie and a white lab coat. Janine looks much like she always does. Egon is about to exit. Slimer runs around looking for food. Janine. Oh, Egon. <laughs> It really does say that. Please. <laughs> Let me go to the bar with you. <laughs> Please. Oh, do I have to do Egon that? holds his head and sighs. Do I really have to do Egon? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't have to do his I'll just pretend. Janine, for the last time, no, you can't come with me. That's not his voice. <laughs> Janine cuddles up to Egon, trying to be sweet. <laughs> go on. Please. Wacka wacka wow wow. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that another day. One day we'll get the mask and we'll do the whole thing. <laughs> Wow, it goes like the God, it's quite long. Two, it's like three. It's really long. Oh, and then you also have, like, I think that's one of the character and Slimer. So we could get. Um, it doesn't carry on going after that, does it? No. Oh no, it's funny some. Pantomime props. How to make? <laughs> we have got to do that. <laughs> I wonder what kid literally did this whole pantomime in front of their parents. <laughs> <laughs> And didn't, and the parents were like, "What the earth are you?" I've doing? just read there's probably like film, like own home videos of the kids doing this. If any of you know anybody who's done a home video of this pantomime, <laughs> it'd be rare to find. But if anybody's got one, you gotta send it to me. I'll put it on the show. <laughs> more stories, more comics. Um, Slimer's putrid panto. So Slimer's little version of Little Red Riding Hood. Nice. That's quite um, unusual. Yeah. Um, so we got another chocolate story there. fudge up here. Nice. Yeah, um, artwork's pretty nice there with yeah. things growing on Ray's tongue. I've always liked the um, artwork in Ghostbusters. Mm. So a big, nice, big story there. And then we go straight to looks like a board game thing. Another board game. Really nice. Yeah. Which we should try and play one day or something. Yeah, <laughs> we should do these more the comics. comics. Yeah. Um, another story. Yeah. So again, we're getting good ones there, so what's this one? Oh dear, there's a few ghosts, 42 in fact. Ah, so you've got to so find, find all the ghosts. 42 ghosts in that picture. Nice. I love ones like that. <laughs> Spot the difference. Nice. Another comic. Money, the root of all the evil. And then we finish And then we finish. That again. Nice. So I That's think we should one. definitely go through some of that stuff and re end it all. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, that's a good one. Oh, this one should be earlier. It's yes. got to be early. We have the Thundercats annual. I have two. This is the first one. I don't know if one comes first. We're going to find out. Thundercats. Very soon. I do remember, I think this is the old, I think this is the newer one. Yeah. To be honest. And see, right there, we've got a new character who was never in the um, 
story. In fact, yes, it definitely is an old one because Pumaira is on the front and mm. she wasn't in until... And I think the one that I do have... Look at Chitara's hair. It looks, it looks quite... straighter. <laughs> yeah, she's got the straighteners out on that one. Oh, we got... This book belongs to Stephen Kane, so it's definitely early because I was still known as Kane then rather than... <laughs> it was 1991. So we're going one year at a time then. Yeah. So this is Trial by Fire, this so comic. Start with comic. This starts just after the movie. So Damn. I think the other one is pre-movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had this annual yeah. as a kid. So it goes through the story and then it's just a short comic and nice. it continues on. Nice. And then there we, we get have. profiles. Profiles. Very, very nice. I think I've actually coloured that in as well. Oh dear. <laughs> That'll diminish the value. Puzzler. The Perils of Puzzler. Puzzler. <laughs> yes. Oh, great, great name. So a story. And it kind of, I guess it kind of makes sense because it means that you've got to do a maze. Hmm. Um, it just makes sense actually. Puzzler and then you've got to do a puzzle. Egg Shell Mosaic. That's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Is that the right page? Oop, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so... Egg Mosaic. Draw and trace the picture of your favourite Thundercat onto a piece of paper and back onto cardboard. To get started, then you can use the picture of Lionel on the page opposite. First, break the picture down into colours. Lionel's colours are orange, yellow, and black and red. <laughs> so you get a grown up to give you some <laughs> eggshells. Make sure they're washed before you handle them. Then paint them into batches. So I reckon most kids would read the first thing halfway and think, you know what? No, I can't borrow the next page. I think even the parents would get so far and think <laughs> yeah. to say, I want to do this, Daddy. That's so no. much worse. <laughs> Not a chance. So, mosaic. So that's another... Is that something? Story, oh. and then we've got Circle what? of Allies. So again, that's another... Circle of Allies. Again. Yeah. Again, I think I've coloured that one in. <laughs> oh dear. I've got here. Make, Make your you. own sludge monster. <laughs> that would be quite cool. Yeah. I think it's just basic paper mache. Yeah, probably simple. Yeah. Yeah. Make your own sludge monster. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, might have to go through that one. Yeah. So then we got another Ready profile. Ready cat. There we go. Um. Ooh. It's comic Trial again. Fire by fire part two. There we got another comic. Yeah. What we got next. Um. Two more profiles. More profiles pa again. I love Panthro. Panthro is definitely by far my favourite. Um. Um, the Perils of Puzzler, so it's a story again, that's also Lionel's choice. Lionel yeah, looks evil in that picture. He does that so yeah. <laughs> and you know, you've got to pick which door he goes through, I think. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Bengali and Lynxo. Huh? I hate Lynxo, huh? he's creepy. <laughs> and then story again. Um, spot the difference. The story's sort of mixed in with the puzzles. It That's makes sense. Pretty... I kind of like that. Yeah, it's kind, yeah. Of, kind of smart. Oh, another board um, game kind of thing. Another board game. Type one, yeah. There's a lot in this one. Mostly yeah. puzzles, so it's more of a puzzle book, really, isn't it? With a yeah. story. Let's just go along with it. <laughs> oh my god. That's the brilliant. Ultimate, the ultimate foe. foe. All of them mixed. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> so. Back to the story of puzzles. should have made a figure of that all the time. should have. Story yeah. and another game. Another game, go. Wow. Keep you busy over Christmas. Yeah. More profiles. That one's on pretty trial trial by fire part three. I think we're getting to the end here now. Yeah. And yet the end. The end and then and back to the original. We're done, yeah. So that was the nineteen ninety one annual. Okay, so, so oh we're going ahead in time in the next one. Jumping all the way to 1998. See, already this one, because I love Spider Man loads, mm. so this one's ace and I'm really good. I never had a Spider Man one. So, so stories ace. and features. Nice. So, oh, already we've got a cool picture. Start off with. Nice. So, let's see what else. Okay. So, it just starts off straight away with like a comic. Of Kingpin on the front. Yeah. Let's just skip through the comic. <laughs> skip through most of the comic. There's quite a few pages of the comic. It's quite a lot. It's really colourful and nice though. 
Yeah. It might be mostly comic because you know Spider Man is a comic book character, so yeah. it could be mostly comic. It's like a special comic for the annual or something. Oh, right. we've got. Um, Here we go. Some... Right, so it's mostly comic. And we've got um, some profiles in between profiles, the enemies. And stuff. Yeah, so we've got Doc Ock and the Lizard. Yeah. Um, Double trouble, little story maybe. Little story. Yeah. yeah, a few pages of story. And then back to comic. Comic. So, I wonder if I've missed. I might have skipped through. I think mean, just double check. Maybe. <laughs> but it, if it is mostly comic, it makes sense because he is a comic book character. So having mostly yeah. comic, special comic for the um, for the annual, make kind of make yeah, more sense. Yeah, we do. We actually have more. Profiles, oh yeah, there's a few more profiles as well. Yeah. The sort of like in between the. Comic. So it's a comic book annual, really. This one. Yeah, mostly. And you can forgive it with a comic book character. <laughs> yeah. So that's all right. I like that. Yeah. So. Two lots of profiles in that. Nice, not bad. Quick on that. Yeah. This is a cool one. I was going to buy this recently for my um, annual collection. So um, um, I really I want to see this one. Um, this is. God, drawn all over. It's got to be like 1990 or 89 or something, hasn't it? You'll see what it is in a sec. 1992. Oh, 92, really? Oh, reprinted. reprinted. Fair enough. First published in 1992. Actually, oh, right. Fair. That's that's surprising. So, let's go. So, let's have a quick look. Hulk at the front. The official book. Um, nice, nice. So it's gonna, it's just gonna tell you all about the wrestlers in it. We've got an introduction by Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do, brother? Nice. Um, really creepy picture of him, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look in his eyes in that picture. That, if anything, is is a pure rape face. <laughs> Look at that. Rape face. Let's let's try and do it. Come. On. <laughs> That's such a creepy face. Weight three hundred and three pounds. Probably a bit more now. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday August the eleventh. Nice. Favorite finishing hold: leg drop off the ropes. Yeah. Favorite quote: My strength comes from my Hulkamaniacs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eat your vitamins and say your prayers. Hulk's advice to youngsters. <laughs> right. Okay. So a little bit about so loads of pictures of the macho wrestling, and then you've got um, macho man Randy Savage. So you've got all stuff about every wrestler that was popular at the time. His favorite coat. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> his favorite coat. See, so, I do love the retro um, wrestling stuff. Reunited with Elizabeth. Nice. Of course, you got Roddy Roddy Piper there though. Oh, um, yeah, because I forgot Taker '92. That's his debut, wasn't it? About '92. Um, think so, yeah. Yeah, around night two, he, that's the first yeah. time he came in. Especially because he's got this old retro look. Yeah, he's old, guy. Proper. Yeah. Yeah. And Paul Bearer. Paul Bearer. He used to love him. Rest in peace. Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so I always remember from Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. Favourite quote? I'm a lead jet flying caviar eating, caviar eating son of a gun. <laughs> yes. See, I wish I had this as a kid. This is quite a cool mm. look. I like this. Very text heavy. Yeah, Sid, text heavy. Sid Justice? Sorry. Sid Justice, I don't recognise that one. British Bulldog. God, from British Bulldog. Leeds in England. I haven't seen British Bulldog for years. Is he still even wrestling, that guy? Possibly. Mm. His goal was to bring the WWF title home to England. His favourite quote Rule Britannia. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> he is, eh? He's a spandex. <laughs> There's a lot of spandex in this, isn't there? Yeah. God, British Bulldog. I don't know why he's got dreads, though. I don't know. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. That does kind of sound like a porn name, doesn't it? <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> it does, actually. Yeah. Had it not been a wrestling name, that could have been an awesome porno name. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that he had a snake with him as well was kind of... Yeah. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, yeah. Remember him? Yeah. The... Beverly Brothers. I vaguely remember them. <laughs> it's not like that one. I've broken your leg. Well, I was smiling doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Their favourite quote, the world is our oyster. Where are they from? Beverly. Hills, Beverly. Aren't they, maybe? No. Yeah. No? No. Oh, no. Shaker Heights, Ohio. Ohio. Fair enough. That's the second name for The Million Dollar Man. Ah, oh, Million Dollar Man. Ted Biasi. No. Mm. Ted January the 18th, same day as me. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I do remember him slightly, but... Yeah, I've seen all sorts of stuff. Brett Hitman Hart. Yeah, who doesn't know Brett Hart? <laughs> mm. 
Legend his wrestling. brother wasn't he who died. Owen Hart, yeah. Owen Hart. The Mountie. Oh, I remember him. The Mountie, he's really familiar, but I don't know. He's uh, a big boss man. The big <laughs> boss man. He's a bigger big boss man. <laughs> oh, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. He was literally a giant. Legend. Yeah. All the way from France. <laughs> Huge. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. IRS. <laughs> I vaguely remember him. I do, I do sort of remember him as well. Yeah. <laughs> He's standing up with people with glasses everywhere. <laughs> the Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom. Hawk oh, yeah. and Ant. They were my favourite. I loved the spike things that they had. Yeah, I just started watching a documentary on them on Netflix. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Is it the American Netflix it's on? Uh, yeah, I think so. The Warlord. It looks a bit like Steve Austin, really, doesn't it? Like a cross between Steve Austin and Goldberg. <laughs> if, they have, <laughs> if they had a child together. <laughs> Creepy. Don't remember yeah. them at all. Here we the natural disasters. I remember them. Natural disasters. Yeah. Um, I earthquake and typhoon. <laughs> I remember them just being just really, really fat, which is basically what they were. <laughs> nice. See, I kind of like this annual. Just learning about all your favourite wrestlers and yeah. stuff. Virgil. Virgil. Don't recognise that name. Don't know. The Bushwhackers. I remember them. The Bushwhackers. Cousins Luke and Butch. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy guys, you got a figure on aren't you? I have, yeah. yeah. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, another legend. Yeah. Um, the Rocket Owen Hart. Owen Hart, mm, rest in peace. Yeah. Rowdy, Rowdy, Roddy, Piper. Roddy Piper. So every time I think Roddy Piper, have you ever seen the movie he was in, They Live? No. Oh, you've got to see They Live. It's such an ace movie, and Rowdy Roddy Piper stars in it. Or Hell Comes to Frogtown. That's another good one. No, it says here he was from Glasgow, Scotland, but I, I always thought he had a very American accent. I think so. it's a pretense thing, I don't think he is actually yeah. Scottish. Or maybe he's got Scottish heritage. Heritage or something. Or we're I've, born I've, there, but I've then, seen yeah. interviews with him, he's got an American accent, he's American. The Berserker. The Berserker, I don't remember him, but I remember Papa Shango. Papa Shango. <laughs> That's just proper freaky, isn't it? I'm sure there's some wrestling fans out there are going to love all these. Yeah. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I remember yeah. him as well. We'll have to do a wrestling special sometime, actually. El Matador. Don't recognise him at all. Nope. Maybe some of these are short. Repo rings. Man. Repo Man. I do remember Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> That's really imaginative, isn't it? Oh, I'm a wrestler, what should I call myself? I oh, know, Hercules. <laughs> the model Rick Martle. No. No. Nope. Maybe, the, like I said, some of these might be short lived characters. The Nasty Boys. I nasty do remember Boys. Them. I do remember the Nasty Boys. Knobs and Sags. <laughs> Skinner. Nope. nope. Some of these might have gone into WWE and then gone on to WCW or some, you know, some other company or something. Tata. Who's that? Tata. You like the Red Indian? I don't recognise him at all. Um, Tatananka. Tatananka. Something like that. No, I don't recognise him. Now that was the one that I've got the pit, the rest the figure off. The one with the mad face. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> yeah, so he's a barber and he's a beefcake. Okay. <laughs> so no holds barred. Ah, oh, so it's like a story about a certain, Probably, maybe yeah. a certain event or something like that, maybe? Something like that, yeah. It's just like commentary on a fight. So <laughs> instead of watching it, you just read it. Yeah, not the same really, <laughs> is it? It's Elizabeth. Oh, it's all about Elizabeth as well. Yeah. Yeah, they were actually married in real life. Yeah, were they? Yeah. Um, Bobby not the anymore, brain. though. She mm -hmm. died. Yeah, she died. Did she? A drug overdose or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Jimmy Mouth of the South. Oh, Mouth Jimmy Hart, yeah. Jimmy Hart. He was a manager, I think, wasn't he? Yeah. Paul, Paul Bearer. Bearer, classic. That face. Just, <laughs> he's, he was genius. Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji, <laughs> I vaguely remember him. Random task. Look at that. Harvey, Harvey Whippleman. Mm, no. General Adnan. He looks about, he looks about 50. Oh, he could even wrestle with the young lads. He'd get absolutely he must, he must have been an old school wrestler or something like that. Yeah. Maybe. One from the 70s or 60s or something. Is he from Iraq? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't get away with that now, would he? Here we got here. The, the genius. The genius, now. Here we got there. Sensational, Sensational Sherry. Sherry. Don't recognise that one. <laughs> I do, because I remember yeah. her. She was with Shawn Michaels. Ah, okay. I don't she remember her at all. Manager. Um, she's downright dirty and dangerous. WrestleMania rules. Oh, I've got the rules and stuff like that. So it's quite good if you if you was a big. Oh, it's going through fan. the WrestleMania. Ah, Three, nice. four. So all the stuff that five. happened, he won and stuff like that. 
And Six. really nice pictures of the action and stuff like that. Mm. Like it, Hulk versus the Ultimate Warrior and things like that. Yeah, really nice. On. If you were a wrestling fan back then, this would have been a beautiful thing to get for Christmas. Because it's Seven. really good. There's loads of pages, it's really thick as well. It's over it 100 is. pages. And it's yeah. rare for an annual as well, having over 100 pages. Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam. Nice. That's the wedding, isn't it? Yeah. Survivor Series. Oh, we've got some good ones goes, go, goes global. Oh, you got some really, um, there's really good pictures and everything there. So if you're a wrestling fan, what what year was this? 92? Like, yeah. So, oh, I had that, you got to show that thing. I had that, that Hulk Teddy. I really want that again. But uh, if you're a wrestling fan back in 1992, you would have absolutely loved this annual because it's so cool and I wish I had it. Uh, nice. Mm. Really, really cool. Ah, oh, oh, it's a bit of commander. <laughs> Hulkamania. Good old Hollywood Hogan. Goes there. Uh, I've got that movie on DVD and I'm reviewing it one day. We'll, yes. I think we'll both have to review it because it's so cool. It is a really cool. And there we go. I'm know. actually surprised Ultimate Warrior is not on here. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe he was oh, no, out. he is. I don't know. Isn't he got his profile? Didn't really do much of him though, did he? Maybe at the time he wasn't in. Maybe that year or something. No, you were was, maybe. I don't Never know. Him, but maybe he just wasn't really um, in it that much. Mm. Oh, 92, something like that. I don't know. I'm sure it was. Could have moved on to WCW. I don't know. I can't Possibly. remember. Okay, right, what we've got next? Right. Um, the other Thundercats annual. Another Thundercats. So, what year is this one? <coughs> <Where's> <laughs> <you>? <laughs> um, this is definitely a much older one. Yeah. No, I don't know. Actually, this has got Blue Mayer in that. Um, 91. Oh, okay. Yeah, before this one, I'm not too sure. Okay. And um, start straight off with a comic. comic. Um, so so lots of comic people. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, nearly naked. I know. That's it, dodgy. <laughs> Just his underwear. Um, okay. Story. That's okay. Proper story here. Really, Maze. really nasty picture of um, Fingy then. It's live. Mm. It's, it's crazy. I've got a puzzle. There's um, a make your own mutant pig. <laughs> Whatever a mutant pig is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> puzzles. Games, games. Puzzles. Riddles. Nice. Spot the difference. Board game. Board game. Comic. Comic. Story and all that. The basic stuff. Yeah, but no, they kept if there's anything, if there's anything different that comes out, I'll probably plan it out. Yeah. Um, but it's nice. Who's who on third? Earth. Oh, that's a good one. No, so who's all who's the thing. characters. That's a cool one. And then that this is what I love about it, the third Earth map. That's really cool. It's all the different locations. This is why they need a massive RPG game and a whole map. <laughs> yeah. Ace. Yeah. Uh, some cool pictures. Yeah, and that's, that's it, really, isn't it? Oh, that's not a bad it. one. Stories and comics and puzzles and everything. Kind of like the other one. And here's one I never saw when I was a kid. I would have absolutely loved it because I was Jurassic Park mad. I'm surprised I never saw this. Yeah. But here's this then. This will be the year it came out. <laughs> do you reckon, yeah? Um, do, 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 do. No year, though, is it? No year on that. You put a sticker on it? Yep, with my name on it. <laughs> Why do you have stickers with your name on it? I don't get stickers with my name on it. My mum used to order them from the catalogue and you just put your check. Oh. We had we had stickers, pencils, pens, all in like the pens have, would have like engraved uh, have our names engraved in gold writing. Oh, I had Ninja Turtles mug with my name engraved on it and that was it. <laughs> um, welcome That's, to Jurassic Park. There's no date on it then. That's weird. Yeah. I imagine it's probably the same. Yeah. So, so it's got, got the story of Jurassic Park, there we go, so it's all uh, very text heavy up to now. A few pictures from the film. Very few pictures, not very really good ones. That yeah. one. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one up to now. Let's have a. Let's go to the end. Let's go from that way. Yeah. That's a uh, bit behind the scenes stuff. Mastered the movies. Steven Spielberg mastered the movies. Yeah. Um, all the different act um, profiles on the actors and who they played. Yeah. The Jeff uh, Goldblum. And that's it really. Hmm. Oh, a couple of fat files on the dinosaurs themselves. Nothing <coughs> amazing now. Nope. No. And that's it. Not that's it, that one. Not that great. Yeah. 
Hmm. So, uh, what's this one now? This is the Star Wars 1998 annual. 1998 annual. Okay. So, it starts off. With your name? With my name, <laughs> my planet. Um, when people, it turns off with time, like when people were born, sort of Yoda, etc. Mm. Um, profiles and different characters. Mm -hmm. Not much there, really. A New Hope. There's some, like near the end, there's some sort of like, probably some like yeah. schematics. So they're mostly just stories? It is mostly the stories. Yeah. Not bad. All, all four of them, all three of them, sorry. Yeah. Some puzzles actually, to be fair, in between. Yeah. More, more schematics. Not bad, then. Um, more profiles. That's the Empire Strikes Back. You cut that was to there. join the official fan club, which I actually did. Ah, nice. I remember doing that. Because that was all the stuff you got. So I've still got that. Nice. And it had um, the radio drama as well. Because hmm. Star Wars was a radio drama before it was a movie. Oh, that's cool. So it's really just sort of schematics and profiles. Just a bit about everything Star Wars. Yeah. Not a bad one. Not a great, not a brilliant one though. So then... This is the year after that. The year after the 1999 annual. Nice. So, uh, probably going to be mostly practically the same, isn't it really? Um, not much difference. Sort of explains all three stories in, on two pages. Hmm? Or three pages. Just don't have to manage that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the history of the rebellion, the declaration of the rebellion, and profile and Jabba the Hutt, mm -hmm. and a maze there. The A to Z of Star Wars. Ah, that's not a bad thing, that's pretty cool. Yeah, A to Z. And and just, how much do you know about Luke Skywalker? It's a bit of a quiz and after that. Um, that's pretty cool. Use the Force. Like, um, Anagrams. Hmm. Um, Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, okay. How much you know about the droids? Yes. Um, Crossword Crosswords. Just a bit about every character. It's kind of like the other one, but with more puzzles, I think. Yeah. More child based, because I think the other one was more for the big fans. Yeah. This one seems more for kids. Yeah, you know definitely. I mean? um, hmm, not bad, though. They've got a different lines there from the movie, but not one of them is, it's a trap. <laughs> Which is weird. <laughs> Which would be, you know, I suppose that would be quite easy to sort of decipher. <laughs> but it's a trap! Um, Stormtrooper attack spec, Death Star Escape. So, like, it's been bad. Yeah, it's just a very basic... It's alright though, not bad. Yeah. Um, nothing else it's that really... Puzzle stories and a bit of that. Can you resist the dark side? <laughs> different lightsabers. Nice. Um, different blasters, Ways of the Jedi, more puzzles, how much you know about Han Solo, the Millennium Falcon, and answers. So we don't really look at So that is Steve's annuals. That's my so annuals. My annuals will be coming soon. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Really cool. We've gone, what was the earliest we went? 1992? Was it or 91? 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91. 91